Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Streak is getting rebuilt, having some fun in the meantime. Were we not? I thought we were Samson last time. Either way, we're gonna do an Eden run this time. Learn to love it. Um, we are crying. I'm gonna guess that that is squeezy poop. Torn photo poop. Oh, that's uh, actually a really cool visual effect for that. Looks like we got good damage. Uh, I'm assuming our rate of fire is gonna be okay thanks to torn photo, but it looks kind of bad. On the stat screen, and there is our uh, our seed there. NR seventy two XGC eight. Yeah, it looks like really good damage. Like our tiers are quite large. I mean, really good damage for the phase of the game, right? Let's try our pill. Uh, well, let's wait and see if there's a curse room just in case it's a telepills. Range seems kind of bad. Rate of fire seems uh, decent, maybe even slightly above average, and damage seems downright good. That's good enough for me. And uh, you know, as far as Starts go. Um, it's not that bad. Starting with a little bit of increased damage and uh, increased uh, rate of fire is solid. Decent amount of HP. This is like a totally solid Eden Star. This is the kind of Eden Star where you're like, okay, well, it's not, you know, mom's knife quad shot right off the bat or anything like that, but it is really, really good. Now, I'm going to shoot all the poop. I'm hoping that we can get a petrified poop drop because that's pretty much the only thing that makes me actually feel like the poop uh, can be a viable item. I know that there are people who have different opinions on that, but I think the poop is predominantly pretty terrible. But if you can get the petrified poop, then it uh, gets taken to the next level. It becomes like one of the best like financial boons that you can have over the course of the entire game, which is very strange. But anyway, we somehow managed to completely skip our item room here as a result of Curse of the Maze. And we do have three bombs, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to... Not three bongs, even though I am recording this on 420. Hi Brother Bobby, not that good. Um, but good enough, you know, I'm, I, I think I've come around on Brother Bobby a little bit, it's a nice little, when it comes down to it, it's basically just extra damage. As long as the shots actually hit, which is a little bit, I wouldn't say unlikely, but not guaranteed because you're not actually placing them really yourself. Uh, I'll open this, sure. A little risky there, but we picked up, uh, exactly enough money to make our arcade on the next floor a possibility. It looks like there's no... Actual, um, why is my brain working so slowly? Coffee still hasn't hit yet. There's no actual, uh, curse room on this floor, so we will just use our pills right away because we can, but first things first, secret room. Uh, and that is not our secret room. Let's use the pill. Full health. Good to know for the future. And, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Swallowed penny. At least, you know, we traded one bomb for five cents and a trinket that is actually valuable if we find an arcade on the next floor, which is... Somewhat unlikely, but hey, this is uh, pretty good as well. Kind of wish we... Wow, that was like 19 cents that we just got right there. Or 17 cents, 18 cents that we just got right there. Um, our other pill is Lemon Party. Kind of wish I'd save that for the boss, but you never know. You don't want to use Paralysis on the boss fight, so... 28 cents for the next floor. Now we'll be hoping for two keys so we can hit item room and shop. But as of right now, this is a, a pretty stellar start uh, financially at the very least. Damage is going just fine. HP, we haven't lost any yet. That could change. I don't want to necessarily jinx myself. Even though I don't believe in the jinx, I don't want to do it, you know? May not believe in the candy man, but I'm not going into bathrooms uh, with the lights off saying his name a few times. Range upgrade is not what I wanted here. And probably should not have used uh, the poop on this room because I think it just makes it guaranteed not to pay out. But down to the next floor. And there's our arcade. You know, you wouldn't expect this to really be that great. I will use, I know this seems like a suboptimal way to use the lover's card, and it is a suboptimal way to use the lover's card, but it's also a lot faster than using it the right way, so I'm going to do it. You'd expect us to have a pretty good chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor, I think. What you don't realize is that you are completely wrong. Ten simple reasons I won't get an arcade, or I won't get uh, into the item room on this floor. I'm hoping that it'll be conceivable, but I'm not totally sure. I'm not going to go to the curse room until I'm guaranteed to get into that item room. Or sorry, get into the deal with the devil. Whether that means we get, uh, you know, four extra spirit hearts or something like that, allowing me a little bit of extra safety, and even in case we fight a difficult boss, whether that means... I'm going to try for a secret room here, maybe to get into that item room sneakily. Uh, whether that means we've already fought the deal with the devil, or we've already fought the boss and had the deal with the devil, that could happen as well. Just don't want to throw away a spirit heart thinking we've got a good chance and then finding out that uh, 
you know, we're fighting a difficult boss and putting ourselves in a rough spot. More bombs, and unfortunately, it really looks like I won't be able to bomb my way into any special rooms, except maybe now that I think about it, the curse room might be viable here. Uh, I can always gamble on the arcade to try to pick up some keys. I don't really have anything against that. Let's maximize our uh, limited bombs here. Picked up Flatworm and a Health Up Trinket. Okay, uh, I do prefer Flatworm, and we, we can get into our curse room that way, so I will do so right now. I do prefer Flatworm, uh, just makes our shots a little bit easier to hit. I think Swallowed Penny has a little bit more of a demonstrable effect, especially because we have our arcade right there. Oh, Gimpy for free, nice. However, uh, I'm going to stick with Flatworm for now. I think it's a cooler trinket. I like it. Anything that augments like the shape and size of our tiers is cool in my books. And it, it looks neat depending on what kind of uh, added effects you have going on with it as well. So, you know, you could argue we should have Swallowed Penny for this right here. That's awesome that that paid out for us. You know, we should have Swallowed Penny for when we play the Blood Bank, but I don't think it really matters all that much. We are going to waste a little bit of time here, and I do consider it wasted to some extent. Uh... Just trying to... I'll tell you what, we'll go until we get down to... We'll do it seven more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was doing it seven times there to just give myself a little bit of an absolute window. We can always blow them up, we can always gamble more later, but we might just get a key on one of these rooms. So we shouldn't get too uh, invested in wasting a little bit of money on our arcade before things get... Uh, you know, completely sorted out for us here. I think, at least. There's one key, we'll use that to go to our shop, just because we do have kind of an unprecedented amount of money for this early stage of the game. And, of course, the hope is that we'll be able to buy a decent item, and then, you know, follow it up with a, uh, a key as well. There is no key for sale, but we will buy Mom's Purse, and we'll buy Starter Deck. Starter Deck the Stars, that's perfect. So I think we will buy our other Spirit Art, just to be super safe, and then we've got Scapular as well. Making some good plays on this floor, I gotta admit, you know, we, we did just lose 35 cents, but we didn't really lose 35 cents, you know? We just, uh, we spent 35 cents. I can, it's a little easier to stomach, let's put it that way. So we were able to go back and get Swallowed Penny. Obviously, these are two trinkets that don't, you know, collectively or individually have a huge impact on our, uh, chances of success on the game, but just the fact that we have two trinkets is nice. Swallowed Penny will probably be worth 15 cents over the course of its run anyway, so it pays for Mom's Purse by itself. Everything else is just gravy. Um, if I were a second secret room, I would be right down here. And that's not immediately useful for us, but... Maybe if we get a Temperance... If we get a Magic 8-Ball and then a Temperance card from the pin fight. Oh, the places will go. That would actually not be that bad of a, a pickup. All things considered. How did we get two HP? Oh, one of one was the health up pill, and then one was the blood bag. That's right. It's a big floor for us. The meat pickup is totally fine. A little bit of extra damage, more HP, and man, the pentagram pickup is really nice as well. This is just a totally solid Eden Star. We're not really blowing the doors off. We're not going to set any speed run records or anything like that, but we're very, very comfortable. Uh, minus consumables to some extent, but... Uh, that's not really that big of a deal. We have even decent utility items in Mom's Pearl, so... Or, sorry, Mom's Purse, so, uh... I'm feeling great about this so far. And, of course, we started with Torn Photo. That's kind of a, a fairly uh, unfair shortcut to success, I guess, because it's one of my favorite DPS items in the game. But, man, I'll take it. I will take it. I'm starting to feel like I've, I've recovered from that Isaac Slump a little bit. It went on a lot longer than I would have liked it to. But I, you know, I, I don't know if it taught me that much, but it did. And I shouldn't talk about it as if it's over. Maybe we're just in like a nice, you know, we're on the lift chain of the roller coaster or something like that before we start screaming for our lives again. However, uh, I, uh, I, I think I'm going to be a little bit less aggressive towards deals with the devil. I think that's part of the reason I got fucked so hard. It's just being like, I'm going to take every deal with the devil because let's see, who needs HP? Just don't get hit. Oh, I got hit. I'm dead. Like that was just, it was a poor attitude to have, I think. So we picked up uh, the Relic there, which is just another pretty extraordinary item room get for us. And between that and Gimpy, we'd be expecting to have a pretty easy time of uh, getting Spirit Hearts on this run. That's pretty nice. Uh, one bomb for a key. Don't really need to go to our shop, but we are in a nice position where we can get a 
key or keep our bomb, depending on what we see is the actual uh, correct action here. What are my goals for this run right now? Well, I mean, if we're talking about like constructively improving it, if we're talking about like this, my you know my life, just you know live happy, stay healthy, treat people with respect. Um, we're talking about, uh, but what, that's stupid shit. We don't talk about that. If we're gonna talk about what I want on this fucking run of this video game, straight up, a uh, better spacebar item is definitely up there. I would settle for petrified poop plus a penny trinket, flat burnt or bloody. Which I think is how you can order your, your steak at an Applebee's. Um, but uh, we're going to hope for that. And you know what? This will give us four cards, which is awesome. Blank card Yara Rune would also be amazing, of course. Or blank card many different things. Credit card's pretty good. Lovers, Empress. Uh, I think we'll just take the two of diamonds. And, like, the, the other cards are not really that good. <laughs> Lovers doesn't do anything for us and is unlikely to until an arcade. We'd have really fucked it up if we need them on this floor. And, um... Credit card we'll use for our next deal with the devil, probably, if I had to guess. Empress card is valuable, but is it more valuable than the Two of Diamonds card? If we use it right now, we'd get three cents. We might be able to blow up our donation machine a couple of times. And then turn it into 30 cents or something like that. You know, just be able to buy whatever we want for the rest of the game. Roughly. There's just so much space left on this floor that I wanted to explore everything, because even though we've been to what are the guaranteed special rooms, I figured there's got to be a curse room, or there's got to be a, a mob trap room, or something like that, and, and so far, uh, we have found one of them. And we're so strong, we might as well press our advantages. Just safely tuck that bomb in a place where it couldn't possibly cause any damage to an enemy, because that would be unfair, right? I don't want the enemy to die to a hazard, I'd rather it... Uh, Eats shit from me personally. Really thought that that would finish it off, but we gotta be super close. And then the most annoying wave of all comes next. Never mind, I forgot which wave we were fighting. <laughs> I thought we were fighting uh, skull dudes who float in the air with the greatest of eads, eads, the, the greatest of eads, the holiday. Well, I I wish you a, a happy eed and a you know a happy anything. I hope you enjoy your day in a, in a way that is, uh, you know, conducive to your own happiness and the happiness of, of your family. What am I talking about? Alright. Moving on. If you could just give me piercing shots, that would also be a big help. I'm uh, starting to realize that, you know, even though our damage is great, we're not killing things all that quickly. Anything that, you know, multiplies our damage across multiple enemies would be very, very helpful. I hate this room, yep. I'm not really complaining about my damage, by the way. I'm just saying if we got piercing shots, it would be better. It's a, it's basically a truism, but accept it. This is a real template for a secret room. I can't believe it didn't work out, to be honest with you. I seemed so confident moments ago. And then uh, ate it. That was not a smart play on my part. Definitely should not have taken damage there. A little sloppy coming down the backstretch of this floor. Um, but it's probably okay. Still no petrified poop. A bit of a surprise to me. We can go to our shop, uh, so what I will do, I mean, if we can find the secret room and get enough money to buy something from our shop, then why not, right, with this Two of Diamonds card? Then we can take Empress with us to the next floor. Usually, you can make this work. Yeah, alright. It's a lot of bombs. Uh, well, we have so many bombs and a decent number of keys, so I think we do take this opportunity to go to our donation machine and, you know, maybe blow it up and pick up uh, enough money to feel comfortable using this Two of Diamonds card. And there's some decent items in here, at least, so I don't really want Converter, and to be honest with you, I don't really want the card, I think, so probably just, we'll go down to like four bombs, maybe. Seems semi-reasonable to me, and we're getting pretty good payouts from our donation machine here. Okay, so after this one, we'll use two of diamonds, and that'll take us up to, like, 45 cents or 50 cents. Yeah, how are we going to double a number and get to 45? Not the smartest moment in my life, and uh, I think we'll leave at this point. Did fuck with our donation machine, but hey, man, could be, like, another eight months until Afterbirth comes out. Probably not, though. Hopefully not. I shouldn't say probably not. I have no idea. All I know is that it was projected for, like, a summer release. Lovers? Empress. Yeah, we'll take the Empress with us. It's not that good, but it's better than the Lover's card, even if we find an arcade, I think. I'll probably prefer this. Now, Boss Rush is, like, definitely off the table for us. That might have a nice correlation with us winning as well. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm playing better because I'm not worried about rushing. 
People have been, you know, telling me about that for the length of the duration of Rebirth being out. So that would be some vindication, I'm sure, for them. And really, like, the testament to that is on the second floor, instead of rushing, we, uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. On the second floor, instead of rushing, we, um, took our time and ended up, like, tripling our HP as a result. As well as picking up Mom's purse, and, uh, I forgot the other item we got in there. <laughs> Couldn't have been that amazing, I guess. Didn't leave a lasting impression. Ah, fantastic. So, not only is this a Guppy item, I wouldn't have expected that there, but uh, Guppy's head, substantially better than the poop. Sorry, poop, you had uh, probably like 40 chances to pay out with petrified poop and you didn't. I understand, you know, you're not beholden to my wishes, but at the same time, that was your chance for uh, redemption. Yeah, we only lose uh, half a spirit heart this way. At this point, I'm starting to think maybe we just hold on to good cards when we get them. So we have a better chance of maybe... If, like, blank card is a pretty good shot of showing up. If we could just get blank card, then we want to keep the cards that are good. Like, we could roll blank card Empress. This is usually a template here. We could do blank card Empress, um... And blank card credit card, and we get some useful stuff happening there. Maybe. We'll see. That's uh, an acceptable payout for sure. But I don't want to fall into the, like, too good to use syndrome. Like, I guess with starter deck, we'd be expecting a decent number of cards to drop anyway. But do we really need to use the Empress card right here? I would say, you know, probably not. This Chubb is a little annoying, mostly because he's so fast and we haven't gotten a speed upgrade, I think. Unless we... Did we get the belt on the first floor? I can't remember. Oh, we got a range upgrade, didn't we? Mom's lipstick? It's the kind of stuff that isn't really that relevant long term. Yep. Uh... Guaranteed I was going to get hit there. My own fault. Should have gotten out of the way earlier. Alright, let's throw some bombs in here. Is it just Are the eyes super fast or is my brain working at like, you know, 10% of its normal speed right now? Because I'm having a real hard time getting out of the way of this jerk hole. We even picked up... Oh my god, we even picked up the spirit heart that was dropped. And still, we've lost two on this floor, or on this room specifically, so... I mean, I liked getting the consumables and the, the money out of it, but... Nah, at this point, most of the money has come from Swallowed Penny when I've gotten hit, I think. Whatever, it's not an enormous problem, but... I'm not super thrilled about it. 60 cents is nice, though. And we still have our Empress card for the future. I don't think it's worth... Nice, thank you, Relic. I don't think it's worth, uh, you know, risking our HP to pick up those pennies. We're already at 60 cents. If it ends up making a difference... I'll apologize to the pennies, but I don't think it's going to end up making a difference. Really would love to see an arcade here. Like, that's the whole reason I even went back for Swallowed Penny. I thought about not going back for Swallowed Penny after we got Mom's Purse. I was like, you know, we're probably not going to need it. It's probably not going to make a big difference. Fuck up that uh, battery pickup a little bit. But I'll do it anyway just in case because it'll probably add up to more money. And uh, it has, but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for the blood bank. Well, we're definitely not going to need more money on this floor, unless we come across, like, ten judgments. At which point, I will be like, sweet, ten judgments, as opposed to being like, oh, I don't have enough money for these judgments. I'll take my ten HP upgrades and the, the compass and be on my merry way. In the meantime, though, working our way towards the item room in the boss room. Really thankful that we've got, uh, the relic. Doesn't show up all that often in Rebirth. I'm not sure if it's a special item, actually, but Relic plus Gimpy is really helping me out here. And this should be a pretty good shot at a deal with the Devil. Which I'm excited about because, I mean, I don't really want to use the credit card just in case we do get blank card. We'll, we'll look at the deal as it comes. There are situations where it would actually be better for me not to use the credit card. If I get Whore of Babylon, for example, I would like to, you know, be on as little HP as it's possible to be on. Otherwise, though, credit card is pretty tempting. We definitely don't need to use it on a shop. Like, financially, we're in such a good position that that just seems preposterous. Okay. Die before you jump again. Thank you. And our item from the boss room I wasn't even talking about, but Jesus Juice is totally fine. And Krampus. It had to happen at some point. I'm not disappointed that it happened now. But I would like a lump of coal here. Just up our... 
up our base damage, basically. I don't care about Krampus's head. It is Krampus's head. I think we're better off with Guppy's head. Taking more damage than I'd like to admit on this floor. This has not been a uh, fantastic floor for me damage-wise. I mean, it's been nice to improve my damage with Jesus Juice. We're still not quite one-shotting those turrets, though. And that's... It's kind of one of the barometers I use. The Relic, man. It's so good. It's, it's one of those barometers I use to determine, like, how my damage is doing. We're above average right now, I'd say. But uh, not quite as amazing as I'd like to be. Like... We're at, like, you know, sufficiency. If we wanted an A+, plus instead of a, you know, a B, that helps. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I thought, it, you know, it's pushing a Spirit Heart out of the way, but the fact that it'll make Half Hearts heal, heal us for twice as much is, is really nice. And that that has actually saved me on runs before in the past, so I'm, I'm hoping that it does so again here. I, the second Secret Room seems like it's in an awkward location. If we wanted to get an A+, plus for a damage score on this room, we'd have to be one-shotting those turrets, but I don't think we're too far away from it. Depths one. No arcade on that last floor. Real disappointment. Other great pickups from the shop. Uh, we've already gotten Mom's Key, which is great. Mom's Purse, which is fantastic. If we can get some, you know, truly game-changing trinkets, which we have not yet, but it happens. Um, it would be sweet if we could get Hive Mind and Nine Volt. So we could just use Guppy's head a little more often. Now, it doesn't change it so it's charging, like, you know, once every five seconds. Shouldn't have said five seconds, because now I'm actually like questioning it in my head. Wait, is it actually five seconds? But I've used it as an exaggeration. And so now, you know, I can't be trusted. Um, but it's not like it makes it instantaneous. Let's put it that way. But it does make it so on, on rooms that take a while, you can use Guppy's head more than once. And, of course, Hive Mind is just a, a stellar pickup for us. Almost regardless of the circumstances. If you got the money for it, even if you don't have flies or spiders yet, Hive Mind is such a good pickup. Spend a key, get a key. Thank you, Curse of the Maze. I really appreciate having no uh, freaking idea where I am. Well, it's Depths 1. We might as well fight the boss right away. Fighting a lot of Gish lately, man. Uh-huh, this is my Gish. All the Gish want to be like Gish. You know, I'm not proud of my Holla Back Girl reference. I don't know how people feel about that song. Because I was very much at, you know, the age of cynicism. Holla Bad Girl comes out, and you're like, Gwen Stefani, this song, you think I don't know how to spell bananas? I'm 17, Gwen Stefani, I know everything! So, I don't know, I always thought it was kind of catchy, but I had to, like, um, you know, have a clandestine love for it. I'd be like, no, Ryan, are you listening to Gwen Stefani's number one smash hit single, Holla Bad Girl? No, man, this is, this is Wilco, this is Yankee Hotel Foxtrot, it's transcendental. I better be, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, that's nothing against Yankee Hotel Foxtrot, which I think is a better album, probably, than the Gwen Stefani album. I've forgotten the name of it. I never owned it. I promise, officer. No deal with the devil here. Disappointed a little bit. Um, there's a Tinted Rock there, so of course we will try to take advantage of that. Hopefully get Small Rock. Spirit Heart and a Bomb, I mean, it paid for itself, thankfully, and that's going to take us very close to, well, it's going to take us exactly to 99 cents, actually. We should expect to have at least one shop without greed. Nothing's worse than getting two greeds in a row, but three greeds in a row, I think, is basically unprecedented, so... I think we should be fine. Definitely pick up that nickel on the ground. Really important to get, you know, because it stores it, man. If we spend money, we're already technically at 104 cents, so... Uh, you know, we want to put that in our bank account, so we're FDIC insured. There's our curse room. Look, there's a really good chance that we could actually um, bomb our way into the secret room to get into the curse room. But I actually feel like our spirit arts are maybe less valuable than bombs at this point. So we got a joker card. We got to try... Hang, man. Mm. We got to do joker uh, credit card. Just to give it a shot. And there's another guppy item. Um... I'm going to keep the credit card. I paid for the guppy item just because, you know, the HP didn't look that that intense. I guess we'll stick with what we got going on here. If there were more deals that I wanted to take, or the other thing is if I had had a, um, if I had the D6, I would have used credit card probably, but for one red heart, eh, no big deal. Save credit card for maybe like a three heart deal with the devil or a four heart deal with the devil or something like that. One heart doesn't bother me much at all. Ouch. Okay. 
another tinted rock up there. Looking forward to hopefully getting small rock. Uh, I don't know what its odds of showing up are. It's probably like 1 in 15 or something like that. 1 in 12. We haven't had it in a little while. Of course, that's what makes Isaac a, a fun game, is the fact that you don't get the same thing absolutely every single run. High Priestess versus Empress. Uh, I think early in the game, High Priestess. As you get a little later, Empress gives you more damage, probably. But again, that's the kind of thing that's probably... there's a. am assuming like a mathematical solution for that, where like if the fight goes on longer than X... Because Empress basically gives you a DPS upgrade. If the fight goes on longer than X, then Empress is better. If it's shorter than X, High Priestess is better. Wow, th this damage is very sloppy. To the point where I feel like I should apologize for it. We should probably take Blue Baby Soul instead of... Um, Swallowed Penny. It's not a huge change. But we'll do it nonetheless. And we've been saved from our shitty damage. Like the, the shitty damage we're taking, not the shitty damage we're doing. We've been saved from the real consequences of that because we're actually uh, pretty set with the Relic and Gimpy. And I think also just a nice little spell of good luck. I will say that I feel like our damage is actually maybe getting to the point where it's a little bit less than... It's a tough sentence to say. Is it less than ideal? Yes, of course. It's less than us having every great damage upgrade in the game. Is it less than average? I don't know. I think it might be. I mean, if you look at our deals with the devil, we've had Guppy's Tail, Pentagram, admittedly, but that's not a, an enormous help by itself, and then uh, Krampus' head. So, you know, the devil deal is the traditional way that you gain extra damage, or extra damage items, or tier effects, etc, etc. Um, and we haven't really gotten much out of that, but one one more guppy item will, uh, will sort that out pretty quickly for us. Like I said, two greeds in a row sucks, but three greeds in a row must be impossible, right? Like, that just doesn't happen. I'm going to use two of spades here before we go into our item room. Just so we can hold on to the Empress card. We've already been into our item room, right, of course. Um, so we pick up five extra bombs there. We'll try to get some more cards or... I mean, I guess I don't really care about the black cards. So we'll try to get more cards. Wow. That's incredible. A little bit of uh, dubious luck there to some extent. Dubious luck. I believe he was the quarterback uh, of the uh, Roman... Indianapolis Colts. Northern Lion, Indianapolis is... Polis is a Greek suffix, you idiot. Indianapolis was in ancient Greece, not ancient Rome. And also it's in Indiana, but you know, that's named for the, the Greek city, you fucking idiot. I'm sorry I let you down, guys. I got my, my Latin and my Greek confused. My mistake. Alright. Just hang back as far as I can here. I have no interest in taking damage here, or ever, for the rest of my life. I'm going to live forever! Nothing. Alright, that's the end of this floor. Uh, pretty disappointing one. We picked up five bombs, four of which I, I immediately spent on turrets. Lovely. We got a uh, little gish, nothing wrong with that. We fought greed. We did get Guppy's Tail. I will always remember Guppy's tail. And we should have a deal with the devil shot on this next floor. If we don't get one, we're still okay. It's not time to sound the alarms yet. I would like to, though. Alright, we'll start with the double key room. Could be great. Could be great. Uh, it could still be great. <laughs> Can we blow that up without... Okay, stars card, two of spades. I'm going to use two of spades again. Hold on to the stars card. I don't know if we can blow this up through the key. We have enough consumables to just do this instead. Okay, we got a key back. Let's stars card out. Cricket's head. That's actually what I was looking for from that stone chest. So, that is a, a huge help for us. Still not quite superstar, you know, Wayne Gretzky territory with our damage. But we're definitely getting there. And this is definitely... An amount of damage where I can feel confident going down to the womb that we can improve ourselves and play well enough to the point where we have a good chance to win. Definitely. This is like, the, the Cricket's Head pickup is basically like, you will have a good chance of making it to the chest, and, you know, making it to the chest gives you a good chance of, of winning the game. It's the only way, I think. <laughs> if you ignore the dark room, which I apparently always do. 
All right, the flies are much better as a result. That room looks like a template as far as I'm concerned, but we'll uh, check for maybe a second secret room right here. Just to see if we could get something better than that. It doesn't really matter if you pick up Bob's Rotten Head. If you want to use it, by all means, pick it up. But if you don't, it's it's going to show up regardless. So you might as well not get to uh, attach the idea of getting it out of the pool. Yeah, really loving the fly damage. I will say that. Oh, always uh, miss those guys at the very end here. Anytime we can summon more flies than the three that the game wants to give us, I'm going to be a happy camper. A couple of secret room potentialities there. I don't think we'll be able to access the boss trap room. And boss rush is like quite clearly off the table. We're like six minutes late. I don't really, I mean, I do want the key, but I don't really want counterfeit penny. And I don't really want to fuck around with like all the consumables on the ground. It's going to take me like 30 seconds to get out of there. So I think I'm just going to ignore that key for now, if I can. This is our shop. And if we fight another greed, I think I just have to say, you know what, no shops for the rest of the game. I, oh, I totally forgot, by the way. We, we should have a pretty good chance of spawning an arcade, which would be nice for us. Yeah. Um, take the map. Buy the key. Might as well buy Sharp Plug just in case, and then we'll just donate the rest of our money because we get no real benefit. And then we'll buy this and use it. Um, yeah, that wasn't amazing, but the, the map pickup does give us a little bit of utility. Not going to open that. Uh, an arcade with a Demon Judgment and a regular Judgment would be amazing right here. I know that sounds like the introduction to a joke. A Demon Judgment and a regular Judgment walk into the bar. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, what gives? Oh, that's the end of that joke. Uh, I don't think we need the Eternal Heart. Even though it might be nice to allow us to uh, have a little bit more room for Maggie's bow to work with. You know, what, what do we prioritize here? Maggie's bow or Gimpy plus the Relic? I don't know if there's necessarily an objective right answer there. But I'm going to go with Gimpy and the Relic. I think it's pretty obvious what I'm looking for here. I mean, the Spirit Heart is fine. Not spiders is the answer to that question, though. But I still have high hopes that we get a, uh, a Gimpy item. Sorry, a Guppy item. We already have the Gimpy item. I have high hopes that we get a, a, a Guppy item in one of our next two deals with the Devil. If we don't get a deal with the Devil on this floor, you know, we're, we're cursed, man. Chosen on dead. Seek powerful souls. Oh, sorry. I've got it wrong. Chosen on dead versus bearer of the curse. Okay, we're going to go down left. And fight our boss. And the mom fight should be fine. No orbitals kind of sucks, but... Uh, yeah, actually, it kind of sucks a lot. I don't expect this to be a super long fight, but... Uh, longer than average, probably. Uh, the spiders are actually pretty helpful. I wish that we'd gotten a guppy item, which would help substantially more than three friendly spiders. But uh, I'll take what I can get. So he took what I can get. He looked at me with that orbitalist facade and said, You ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, 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 Eden, you just ain't seen nothing yet. I'm not going to continue on there. Ah, crap. Okay, well, Goathead is basically like, we just got Book of Sin and then a battery. We got another play at a deal with the devil because that deal with the devil only gave us another deal with the devil. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with that. Uh, if I were a boss... I would be up in the top left corner here, and I would probably be Mr. Fred. Every time I say, if I were a... Ah, yes! I get thinking of the Raffi song. You know, I, I owned... Before it was ironic, and this is not me being like a six-year-old hipster. I was just six. And this is what six-year-olds listened to at the, at the time. Um, Raffi's album Banana Phone came out and I fucking got it for Christmas because I was like, Raffi? Fuck yeah, man. Baby Beluga? That shit gets me all verklempt or whatever at all. Anyway, so I owned Banana Phone, which made it very surreal when it became kind of like an internet thing a couple years later. But anyway, there's no track two after Banana Phone is like, oh no, track two is Shake a Toe. But on the album, there is a. Uh, song called If I Were a Gorilla. It's a, it's a classic one, man. It's all about, you know, the, the purity of everlasting love. If I were a gorilla... This is more of like a Randy Newman impression. 
If I were a gorilla, na 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 na, I'd eat me a banana, fa 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 fa. I'd sit in the treetops and swing on a vine. One thing's for sure, I would love you. Da 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 da. Boom boom. And then I don't know. At that point, it gets a little abstract for me. If I was the concept of jealousy, na 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 na. I'd eat dinner with Nietzsche, da 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 da. Instead, I'm just Raffy. Just living my life. One thing's for sure, I'm a singer. I, you know, it was actually better for us not to use credit card there. So, you know, I'm successfully just not using one of the best cards in the game, for sure. Ah! That being said, we got an easy win here now. Mm hmm. Definitely far left, and then probably on the upper side. Um, we're Guppy, and we have Abaddon, so our flies have basically just become, you know, Death Destroyer of Worlds. We also have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Uh, the map has been a huge help so far. I appreciate it. You know what? We can take Wiggle Worm instead of Blue Baby Soul. I think if you have the sack to take two Worm Trinkets... You should have a worm transformation that allows you to shoot like those uh, maggots that Chub shoots. And the only way to find out is to actually take the worm trinkets. Stop being such a... Stop being such a puss. Unless that's what you're into. I was referring to the, the feline variety, not the female variety. I want to keep it family friendly here on YouTube.com slash Northern Lion. Fuck shit, damn. Anyway... Mom's heart very easily surmounted. Have I talked about my my standard go-to joke whenever someone says surmounted? By the way, the fact that I have a go-to joke makes me an asshole. Don't do that. However, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great if there was like a King Arthur, you know, Knight of the Round Table named Surmounted, renowned for his sexual prowess in between the sheets or wherever he finds himself? Consider it. That's how I end a joke when I have no other means to end it. Consider it! I've been Northern Lion and this is me. Good night! <laughs> that could be the name of our first album, our HBO special. Consider it. Could be my talk show like 30 years later when I'm too tired to do stand up. I'm considering it right now, to be honest with you. We don't need the money. I will take the spirit hearts. Like, just. I don't, I don't think we're going to have a catastrophic failure, but, you know, nobody ever does. Nobody ever goes to the, the freaking, uh, you know, beer fest thinking they're going to end up in cardiac arrest, but it happens from time to time. Stand as far back as we can here, and by that I mean, like, literally right next to them so the flies can hit them easily. Just, you know, we don't really need the bombs, but I guess I'm thankful that for fucking once we didn't get Bob's Rotten Head. Did take a little dumb damage there, but that's all right. What am I going to do with this credit card, y'all? I have no idea. We say y'all in Canada from time to time. Y'all is universal, man. Two of them lived. I am not surprised that I got hit there, but I am surprised that two of them managed to survive. All right. Just not Curse of the Blind would be amazing. Very easy eyes to kill. I mean, it should be a super easy finish to this run, all things considered. But, yeah, if we could just get not Curse of the Blind so I don't accidentally pick up HP or soy milk. So far, so good. Mm, no. We have cool uh, items as is. Ah, this is, uh, this is terrible. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that, I'm assuming. Pretty, looks like a pretty linear trip to our boss fight here. I'm a little excited about Midas Touch, though, because Midas Touch makes up for not having an orbital. I'll take Anti-Grav. I always do. Uh, but Midas Touch makes up for not having an orbital, because anytime we get hit with permanent Polaroid invincibility, we'll run into enemies, and we'll do contact damage equal to our uh, finances right now, which are 90 cents. 90 contact damage is a ton. That's not how Piggy Bank works. It's how freaking Midas Touch works. People keep... Not not people in general. A couple of people, not to be disingenuous, keep telling me, Midas Touch doesn't work like that. The piggy bank works like that. I don't know if that's erroneously posted somewhere else online. That's one of the very few, you know, deeper mechanics in Isaac I'm actually very confident about. It's Midas Touch that does this. Anyway, moving on. 
Because I'm a sucker like I said. Fudged up in the head, not. That was Lamp Biscuit. Uh, Limp Biscuit for kids. Because Limp Biscuit isn't for kids. Definitely. Now. Basically, we just put up, like, shields. Even though we don't have shielded tears. We put up shields to slow the enemies down. And then, whenever they touch the shields, they spawn flies. We got, like, a, you know, Diablo 2 kind of Paladin with Thorns build going on right here. And this has got to be the way to the exit. I can't imagine it wouldn't be. And you know what? Even though it seems like I wasted the credit card, I wouldn't change it. I don't know what, what we would have done. Oh, really? Alright, I can see that. I don't know what we would have done better with, with the credit card. I guess we could have used it to pick up Guppy's Tail and then get the extra black heart from the Satanic Bible on that one deal with the devil. But we would have lost the HP that we saved to Abaddon anyway. But we would have one more black card. Is that really the best utility for, for credit card on this run? It gave us one more black card? It can't be, right? I must have missed something a little bit more obvious. These poor guys. Real confused. Alright, last item. Stigmata. I'm not gonna take it. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Don't be mad, I skip Stigmata. Just run into him and... Give him a little bit of that contact damage. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Great run. I had a really good time. I hope you did as well. Thanks for watching. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll be back with a nice run next. See you then.